Hello there friends, welcome back. Today I have for you a pretty random video on my channel. It's going to be a question I get a lot lately and it is where I shop at, what are my favorite online sites, what are the pros and cons of shopping at certain places, all that fun stuff. Everything will be answered in this video. It's going to be a pretty simple, straightforward video just letting you know what are my favorite sites and places to shop at. I'm going to link everything down below for you guys. I'm not going to show any actual items in this video so if you want to see previous hauls, check the down bar. But without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so for actual stores, I'm going to go pretty basic on you, the typical Forever 21. I love Forever 21. I find things there all the time, honestly. Accessories are amazing. I'm wearing one right now. I'm actually, this dress is also from there. Wow, okay, never mind. I love Forever 21, as you can tell. Um, I'm not a online shopper for Forever 21. I feel like it's just super overwhelming. I prefer shopping at the store. My favorite Forever 21 stores in New York City are the one in 42nd Street because it's huge. It has like five floors. It's a little overwhelming, but I always tend to find something there. I also like the one in 34th Street after they remodeled it and the one in 14th Street. Those are my three favorite stores, actual stores in New York City. And then my second stop is H&M. I love H&M. I always find great sales there, so always be in the hunt and try to search for H&M because they're always on sale. They always have like a 75% sale like every time I pass through there. That's another store that I don't like online shopping for because I feel like I could find nicer things in the actual store. I of course have to mention TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have my heart. Honestly, it's like one of those stores that I could not pass by and not go in. Like I just, I have to stop by and say hi, you know, and like pass through every aisle, go through the candle aisle and buy candles and stuff, so. I like their purses, their shoes, their clothes. I like everything. Staying with actual stores, I also like Soho. Soho has great boutiques. If you're from New York City, definitely check out Soho. My two favorite boutiques are Mystique and Necessary Clothing. I think they have two Necessary Clothing and it was my jam back in the day. I have a long time to go, but I really like Necessary Clothing. Another store I really like is Sarah, of course, oldie but goodie. But now let's move on with online sites. Shein or Shein Side has been one of my favorite online sites for a really, really long time now, like for a few years. I absolutely love it. It's extremely affordable. It has some pros and cons. I get a ton of questions on Shein and I'm going to answer them now. So Shein is an Asian store. They have so many items. They add items there every single day, which I absolutely love, but it could get addicting. Trust me. Wow, there's an ice cream truck outside now. This is great. We're just going to ignore that now. You know, we're going to ignore the barking. We're going to ignore the ice cream truck. And let's move on. So sizing, it could be a little bit off, just like any other online site to be quite honest with you. It's always a hit or miss. It could be a little bit nerve wracking. Trust me, I know. I mean, for me, it's a little easier just because I always get the smallest size. But I know for people that are like a medium, you never know if you should get a large or you should get a small because sometimes they're too big or they're too small. But point is, online shopping is always going to be a hit or miss no matter where you shop at. I personally really like Shein Side. I love their prices. Their prices are great. Um, I haven't had any terrible issues. There's probably been one or two incidents where I don't like the fabric or the sizing are a little bit off, but that's pretty much it. One of the cons that I don't like and I do have to mention is the shipping. It does take a long time. It probably takes like three weeks, almost a month sometimes because it is an Asian store and depending on what you buy or what you get, it does take longer. Sometimes they do ship them like separately because some of them are shipped 24 hours. Like they could ship them the next day whenever you buy things but other things do take longer. So just have that in mind. But if you do have any issues with their shipping, you can always contact them. I believe they have an email for customer service. I'll try to link it down below for you guys. But aside from that, I really love Shein Side. Next up has to be Misguided. I really like shopping on Misguided. Misguided has great items, great style, great prices. I overall really like them. Their sizing could be a little bit off from time to time because it is European, European, but I do like it. Oh, how could I forget? Amy Clubwear. I love Amy Clubwear. I purchased from there for a really long time like from 2010 or 2011 I've been buying from there they have clothing accessories shoes handbags lingerie but I personally really like them for their shoes and swimwear absolutely love them their sizing are true to size at least for me I'm always an eight but I do love their shoes they add things every single day which could get a little bit overwhelming but I really like them hot Miami styles is another great site that I'm completely obsessed with I love their style I love their fit the fit is honestly one of the most on point fits that I've shopped for I feel like it's also 
great size for special events, for a birthday or a wedding or anything like that because it's always going to be very form-fitting and just great overall. Um, their shipping is great as well and they have great customer service so definitely check them out. I also really like Boohoo.com. It's so affordable. It's basically like a Shein with Forever 21 mixed. I really like their style. I also like Toby.com. I like GoJane.com. They're just so many. I'm going to link them down below for you guys so make sure to check the description box for more information. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have any sites or recommendations that you may want me to check out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Remember to give it a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye! Wow, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I show my bra strap or when anyone shows their bra strap. Why? Uh, bags. Don't tell me there's going to be an ice cream shop downstairs for the next 30 minutes because I'm going to shoot myself. Wow, it's been a long day, guys.